Welcome to September. Here's your Psychic Tarot reading for the month. This month, this is what we will go over. We will cover your current self, the month's theme, you at the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the key goal to achieve, how to do it, obstacles to overcome, how to do it, good news, what to avoid, your spirituality modality of focus this month to help you get through it. And then I wanted to let you know that um, when I polled people on Instagram and on Facebook, they all said what they really wanted to focus on this month was money and career. So I will be putting that in a separate set of videos for you this month um, to this YouTube channel and hit the little bell notification so that when those come out, you are immediately aware and alerted in case you like these. I would also appreciate it if you would share these videos with people that you think would find helpful um, because otherwise, how are they gonna find them, right? And here's something new that we're doing this month. If you are to go ahead and share this video on Facebook or Instagram, please go ahead and tag me because this month I'm giving away a zodiac sign necklace, which obviously it would be the one. If you're a Pisces, that'd be the one that you want to share, right? In this picture, this is an example of the different Pisces necklaces that would be going out, but I have them for every single sign. Um, those would be shipped out halfway through the month, so make sure that you tag me in it. Um, because if you don't, I can't see the post, and then I can't DM you for your shipping address. So I'll be giving away one for each one of these signs. Uh, let's get started. Happy birthday, Virgos. So, current self. Um, you know, your current self actually needs to be around other people a little bit more this month. Um, and you might not have an easy time initiating conversation, initiating invites to people, but actually your current self really does need, even if you don't feel like you want it, you really do need to surround yourself with other people this month. And um, actually, let's dig into why that might be. They say because otherwise, um, if you don't surround yourself with other people, you might be highly critical of yourself this month, which could lead to some sort of sadness or depressed feelings. Um, so Virgos at their best, super organized, you know, perfectionist, everything is wonderful and organized and, um, you know, but they're also their harshest critic when they're at their worst. They can be nitpicky. Um, so you're going to really want to surround yourself with people as much as possible this month. Um, throw yourself a birthday party or something, okay? This month's theme for Virgos. Um, okay, so they're telling me what it isn't. <laughs> it's not about loyalty. It's not about joy, respect, peacefulness. Um it is about friendliness, though. And so you're able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So this month, you're going to want to go out of your way to figure out what is it that I have in common with other people so that um, I can keep my own energy high, you know, and not beat myself up. Because that's kind of just astrologically, I'm assuming, um, the basic sort of default mode, it's going to be easy to slip into that unintentionally, even if it's not your norm, okay? So at the beginning of the month, this is all about choices. It's all about choice um, and choosing, for the most part, kind of to go, okay, just because something went one way in the past doesn't mean that this is the way that things are going to go moving forward. So for example, in regards to trying to be friendly, maybe we've been rejected in the past, right? But that doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen now. And if it does, most of the time it's not because of us. It's because of them. Maybe they really do have a lot of things going on and they want to spend time with you or maybe they have the same fears that you do. Um, in the middle of the month, they're saying, now this is when you are likely to be um, at the peak of the black and white kind of thinking, potentially being a bitch to yourself. Um, and so this is why we want to get ahead of it in the beginning of the month. So because otherwise we're not going to have much control over that and it might not be the happy birthday month. It should be for us. At the end of the month, um, what they're saying is that seeds you plant, or I'm sorry, 
if you never plant seeds, they never grow. So who cares if it takes too long? What we want to be thinking about at the end of the month is, okay, maybe I want to go back to school to be a doctor. But then I go, oh, you know what? That's like eight years of schooling. Um, and then it's a couple years of residency before I start making an income. Maybe I'm too old. And they're like, time is going to pass either way. Um, the seeds are never going to grow if you never plant them, right? So that's what we want to be thinking about at the end of the month. The key goal for you to achieve this month is to recognize um, I might be feeling kind of sad and it might kind of be my fault because I might be critical and harsh of, on myself. So they're saying when things um, get out of balance, this is not a time to beat ourselves up, right? This is a time for us to figure out how we can treat ourselves as a friend right? And we get a lot of practice in doing that by actually spending time with others. So they're saying, you know, it does require you to be a little bit open and vulnerable um, to try new things, but it's going to be worth it. Obstacles for you to overcome are this lack of balance. There might be some sort of work-life imbalance. There might be that you're putting way too much time into, you know, column A instead of column B. Maybe your finances are messed up, things like that, which, by the way, there will be a money and career reading. Um, uh, they're saying, you know, what it probably is is just that you need more rest. Even if you're taking a good amount of time just sitting down and relaxing, you do your self-care, you take a bath, um, but you might be too much in your head. You need to give your mind a rest this month, which is why it's important to surround ourselves with others because that's a distraction. Um, good news for you this month is that nothing um, – that there's a lot of things in motion that haven't quite ended yet, and they aren't supposed to have ended yet, and that's probably a good thing. So if we're thinking about things like work, for example, oh, um, you know, I haven't been fired yet. I guess I'm supposed to be here to keep earning money. That would be a good good thing, right? But every different aspect of your life, this is a good thing where things have not ended yet because now we are open to like fully receive blessings as a result. So sometimes things don't feel good, but they are for our highest good. And now we're on the other side of things where that karma can flow to us. They're saying this is a month where um, you don't really have that much that you have to do. It's one of karmic balance where everything just kind of works out. So if you were an asshole, this might be a bad month for you. But if you routinely go out of your way to be a good, kind person, karma will pay off for you this month, and that's a good thing. What you should be avoiding this month is this um, scattered energy of confusion, having an inability to understand what is the most important thing for you to focus your time on. Um, because what they're saying is you're going to put a lot of work then into too many different areas and then be extra critical of yourself because none of them are perfect, right? So one thing at a time. You know, if I get home from work and I'm like, okay, I got to pay bills. I've got to clean my house. I got to prepare for the next day. I've got to check my emails and respond to clients. It's like, mm -mm, that's not going to work. I'm going to just focus on like today is bills day. Tomorrow is clean the house day. You know, stuff like that. That's going to make you feel a lot better because you're going to be able to do the work a lot more efficiently, number one, because there's no interruption, um, but number two, a lot better, a lot more perfect, um, which is something that you like. Okay, so spirituality modality of focus for you this month, and they're saying um, whatever it is that's going to make you feel more balanced. Okay, so that might be just taking a walk in nature, grounding yourself. That might be meditating. But whatever is going to help you feel more balanced, that could even actually be um, getting more sleep for the majority of you. Um, they're saying luck is in your favor and everything is okay. It's going to continue to be okay. Um, and there might be some good news coming in the career and money sector because I'm seeing that like, even if things were out of balance by kind of doing that care and getting what you need, um, things just work themselves out in a positive way. So I will talk to you in October. Happy birthday. I love you. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.